I'm Colin Wood, the Director of Editorial for Autoguide.com. And I'm Mike Swears, Chief Engineer for Toyota Pickup Trucks. And we're here to answer your questions about the 2014 Tundra. One of the forum users had a really specific question. He wanted to know why you've chosen to use a two-piece drive shaft. That's a really good question. Uh, we chose to go to a two-piece drive shaft, as you see in our rolling chassis here. And the main reason is to change the breakover angle. So as you know, your transmission, your engine, uh, are set to allow proper uh, ground clearance to the front. And then, of course, your differential is really setting up your ground clearance in the rear, and they're, they're not on the same plane. So uh, whether you use a one-piece drive shaft or a two-piece drive shaft, you have to bridge from the transfer case back to the differential, and there's an angle there. By using a two-piece and, and putting the bearing in the center, we're able to reduce the amount of, of angle in the, in the intermediate shaft to the prop shaft back here, and that affects our breakover angle. So the angle between the, the two tires and how much ground clearance you have as you're going over uh, a log or a hill, items like this, it just gives us more ground clearance. They look like they're two different materials as well. Is there a reason? Oh, absolutely. So one of the things we found in the front of the uh, for our intermediate shaft is that when we went to aluminum we had more NVH issues. So going back to steel and we can balance the steel better and for takeoff vibration, for riding vibration, uh, steel performs much better for us. Mm -hmm.